Someone who is yet distant or relatively new to the field of cybersecurity might ask, why is ethical hacking also included in the curriculum of this course? Well, the answer to this question is as simple as it could get. You won't be able to defend cyber infrastructure well enough if you don't know the ways the hackers are compromising it. To put it even simpler, you need to be able to see as a hacker, think as a hacker, discover vulnerabilities as a hacker. Without this skill set, your efforts to secure any given cyber infrastructure would be superficial and probably turn out to be futile. Majorly, the skill of ethical hacking is used to perform penetration testing or pen testing. Let us elaborate on this topic for a bit, as it is a notable source of income for cybersecurity specialists. You see, no matter how complex and advanced contemporary security systems are, they always have weak spots or vulnerabilities. Remember this as a rule of thumb. Absolutely secure environment simply doesn't exist. The aim of every contemporary cybersecurity specialist is to minimize the amount of cyber threats that might affect their employer's cyber infrastructure. To achieve this goal, cybersecurity experts must first identify potential threats and possible security loopholes. An interesting question is, how do they do that? Well, they perform penetration testing. This means that for the time being, cybersecurity specialist becomes a hacker and performs exploits against cyber infrastructure that he pledged to protect. They use any available tool or social engineering method or trick to discover potentially weak spots of the employer's cyber infrastructure. This might sound a bit paradoxical, but stay with me, and I'll explain everything. Instead of exploiting discovered security vulnerabilities, an ethical hacker uses his or her knowledge to help the employer get rid of these vulnerabilities. True, hacking is involved, however such hacking practice is within the norms of ethics, and it is not illegal. To put it simply, not all hackers are criminals. We will talk about it later as we progress through this course. At the moment, it is far more important for you to grasp the idea that hacking can bring decent income without involving criminal activities. Now let us skip directly to the how can I earn money through hacking part. Firstly, major companies usually post bug and security bounties. This means that these companies are actually inviting you to hack them. If you manage to do it, you even get paid for disclosing the method you use to hack them. For instance, there is a bug bounty program offered by Google called Google Play Security Reward. Within the framework of this bug bounty program, hackers are invited to identify vulnerabilities of apps on Google Play. If hacker discovers vulnerability, he begins working with app developer to resolve them. Once this problem is solved, hacker will be rewarded by Google Play security reward, depending on the gravity of the issue. If the tested app had RCE, which means remote code execution vulnerability, hacker gets up to 20k dollars for resolving this issue. When vulnerabilities related to theft of insecure private data and unauthorized access to protected app components issues are resolved, hacker is entitled for a reward of up to $3,000. Please don't worry if you didn't understand much of what I said. As you progress through this course, the involved terminology will become clear and you won't be scratching your head to remember what is what. We will learn all of it through practice, which is the best way to memorize the concepts. The most important part in my narrative is that bug bounties are very popular and they are easy to discover. 
In the last section of this course, I will add a list of credible bug bounty issuers and you will be able to start testing your skills right after finishing this course. Apart from bug bounties, ethical hackers are also welcome to join cybersecurity companies and work in the field of penetration testing. These jobs offer high incomes and are moderately easy to perform. Naturally, rate of success depends on your hacking and social engineering skills. But I promise, if you learn well, you'll be able to discover points of breaching security in almost every cyber infrastructure out there. Now, I will have to warn you right at this early moment that people who possess knowledge of successfully breaking into protected infrastructure are usually tempted to do it illegally. When we talk about hacking, there is a very thin line that delineates what is crime and what is legal. Thus, you will need to be very careful not to trespass into the illegal zone. Otherwise, you will eventually get caught and punished for your actions. Actually, you can think of it as a light and dark sides from the Star Wars movies. Jedis and the Fallen Jedis are both proficient force and lightsaber wielders. However, their motives differ. In our case, Jedis are the ethical hackers, while the Fallen Jedis are the black hat hackers. We will elaborate on definitions, hacker typologies and comparative observations later in this course. At the moment, I only wanted you to grasp the idea that not all hackers are criminals, and there are many ways to earn a decent income with your hacking skills without breaching the law. With this said, we are ready to move on to the next lecture. Stay with me. You will yet have so many interesting things to learn that I almost envy you, since you are only in the initial phases of becoming an expert in this field. Rewind.